My name is Abhishek Jain and welcome back to the Docker tutorial series part 18th. Before proceeding with this video, I would highly recommend you to watch my previous video as this video is in a continuation with the previous one. So let's quickly check what we had done in the previous video. So if you remember, in the previous video, we have created this machine as a swarm manager and we added another machine as a worker, right? And if I just use the docker and node ls command, you can see this. This particular machine, the manager status is leader, which, Im which indicates it's the manager of a swarm, right? And if I put the docker info, you can see the swarm related information here, right? Is manager true, then manager, don't machine chart too, right? Now what I'm gonna do uh, in today's video, we're gonna see few more additional command related to the docker swarm. If I just put help, you will see we have two commands which I wanted to cover today is join and a join token, right? Though we have seen this join token in the previous video, but this time again, we're gonna see this. What happens is if we have a swarm running for a few days and I wanted to, you know, get the another, I want to add another machine, but I don't have that command ready, which I got as a response of a Docker init, Docker swarm init command, right? So in that case, what you can do is you can just use Docker swarm. Then you can put join token. And there are two types of node, which we can add as a manager, right? So if I want to add another machine as a manager, what I have to do is I have to run this command on that particular machine, right? So, but make sure your machine is open to listen for this particular port, right? So that I have already indicated in the previous video as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this command. Got permission denied while running to connect this, this, this. Post dial Unix. Uh, this, it seems like something is wrong with this machine. So let me just take the another one. Okay, so this uh, machine has been added as a manager. So let me just go back to the machine and let me just put node ls again. Oh, I just typed it wrong. Okay, uh, clear the knocker node ls. Okay, so now you can see uh, the another machine has been added with this IP, right, on which I just ran this uh, add manager command to the swarm. This manager status is reachable. And if I just put a Docker info, then we will see that swarm related information is active, is manager true, but this time we have two managers and number of nodes are three, right? So we have added uh, three managers, uh, three nodes, and now we have a swarm cluster with two manager and a one worker. Okay, so now um, if suppose I, I have added a manager, now if I want to add a worker, then what I have to do, I have to use a docker swarm join token for worker. So I have to correct this. Okay, now if I want to add another machine as a worker, right, so I'm just going to copy this. Copy. Okay, so this machine has been added now as a worker. Uh, let me just go to the manager one and let me just put the Docker node Alice. Now we have four machines, right? And you can see there are two machines where the manager status is blank and this manager status blank reflect these are the worker node, right? And this is the original leader which we have and we have a reachable another one, right? So we can just make this manager down and we can just make this main manager and that we're gonna see in our upcoming videos, right? The next thing which I wanted to cover is if I just put a Docker info again, and this seems to be the very good command, right? Uh, a swarm node ID, we have two managers and totally we have four nodes, right? Now we have a swarm cluster ready if we want to have a two manager with the two workers and you can have n number of workers and n number of manager in the swarm cluster if you want. And that's completely depend what kind of real time application you want to put in a production and based on that, you can always design your cluster, right? How many worker you need, how many manager you need, right? Now, the another thing is, now we have a cluster ready, what we can do next? Now, Docker provides us a Docker service, which is pretty much same to running a container. But in a swarm, let me just show you something really interesting related to the Docker service. 
So if I just leave this, okay, and if I put Docker service help, okay, you will see create a new service, the command related to the Docker service, inspect, logs, ls, rollback, scale, and update. That we all gonna see in upcoming videos. But if I just want to create So if I want to create uh, any service, let's say, let me put any name, hello world, and Alpine, let's see what I'm gonna get. See, error response from Daemon, this node is not a swarm manager, use swarm in it. So to create a service, you have to run this command on a manager, right? You cannot run this on a worker thread, right? So let me just join, let me just allow this to join again. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back to the manager and this one is the manager for us. Let's see if what happens. Okay, so it will take some time to just get ready. Now, uh, along with the Docker service create, uh, I can just show you some more interesting stuff, but the detail about the Docker service and all those stuff, we're gonna see in uh, upcoming videos. I'm just giving you the sense, I mean, how does it work? So if you will see, there are a lot of options. The interesting one, which I want, which I'll be covering is related to the replicas and that is where number of tasks, right? So when we create a service, it actually a, runs a container and inside the container actually is being referred as a task, right? So that's we're gonna see in the next video. Okay, detected task failure. Okay, so it will take some time. Uh, but for this video and uh, that is what I wanted to cover, right? So, you can create a swarm cluster with adding a worker, with adding a manager, right? Now you have to create a service, right? And you can create a service on a manager only, right? And your machine has to be in a swarm mode and we know that if it is working as a manager, then probably definitely it would be running in a swarm mode, right? So in uh, for understanding the service, it's really a very critical concept. So definitely in our next video, we will be discussing about the service in a more detail, how we can create the services, what happens when we create a services with the replicas um, and how swarm manager and the swarm cluster automatically handles i mean to which node it has to run which service and based on the replicas how many nodes are running those container all those stuff that's we're gonna see in the next video so that's it from my side for this particular video if you have any feedback any suggestion any comment please feel free to put that in a comment section i'll be more than happy to answer your question and if you have any feedback to improve the content or the video quality please put that feedback as well into the comment section i, I, I would i would love to improve on those those areas as well so as always stay healthy and keep learning a new stuff